let's talk about the game, no? our game, and you are involved in the ATP coaches committee, working a lot. Let me tell us a little bit about how it works, because there are a lot of work behind the scenes, and that's how the ATP uh, coaches committee is working right now. And, and of course, you are part like with Claudio Pistolesi and Daniel Valverdu, how, how it works. Yeah, I mean, it was it was an honor to be to be elected by my peers, uh, the other the other ATP members and coach members, to to to, to serve on the committee. Claudio Pistolesi is sort of the, if you like, the grandfather of the ATP coach program, uh, sort of introducing it and and getting it going ten or eleven years ago, maybe twelve years ago now, and and the program is just growing and growing all the time. So it's uh, it's been amazing to to join him and Danny Valverdu on the committee and we do a lot of work. I mean, it's, uh, it's a lot of work behind the scenes, a lot of communication with players, talking to, to, to players on the players council, ATP board members. And, and, you know, sometimes we have to, we have to ask the tough questions and we have to play a bit of devil's advocate and sort of hold the, the ATP staff or you know, people accountable for certain things and, and ask the tough questions. And, and it's, it's not always easy, but, we certainly do it uh, in good faith, and we, we certainly try to work together to get the coaches' voices, all the ATP coaches out there, their voices heard by the, the ATP staff and the board and the players' council, and try to just advance uh, advance the game as much as we can, and 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 the perspective of the coaches to help the coaches on the tour to uh, to have better circumstances, better situations, and add value to the game wherever we can. So it's, uh, it's really, uh, it's, it's, it's fun, but it's also quite, quite, uh, quite hard sometimes. Yeah, but it's good. It's good because uh, many things is happening right now for our game. And talking about the, uh, that, what do you think about the coaching rule? Because the ATP approved a trio to have the coaching rule in the box. And, um, you know, there are many, many coaches and players approving that, but which are, which is your opinion about it? Yeah, I mean, we've put a lot of time and effort and, and work into that. And especially Claudia Pistolesi, who, who started this process about 10 years ago. And more recently, Danny Valverdu, as the coach representative on the Player Council, has really done a lot of work to improve and get, get a better understanding around the need for this and, and why it would be a good thing. Myself, I'm, I'm sort of, I'm in favor of it, but I do understand the perspective of some of the former players and other coaches where they might say, look, tennis is about one-on-one -on -one problem solving, handling your emotions, figuring things out on your own and, and being able to be, and if you're better at those skills, you're going to be a better player and you're going to win more matches. And I totally get that. And I do believe in that part as well. The only thing I would say is that in, in the modern game, and I, I don't know 50 years ago, but certainly the last 20 years, I've coached hundreds and hundreds of matches as, as, a, as a coach on the tour and coaching is going on. I mean, there's yeah. verbal comments, there's signals, there's nonverbal, there's conversations in different languages, there's all sorts of things going on uh, anyway. So it's almost like, well, in a way by legalizing it, you, you take some pressure off the chair umpire, you put some rules around it. So maybe you can actually control things a little bit better and it, it might in the future lead to be quite an interesting experience for the fans. It might raise the level of some matches where a player is just not figuring it out or they're just completely emotionally tapping out and the coach is able to just raise the level and, and, and produce a better show. So I think, I think it's a good thing. 